This one they just drew it through all their points. This one they just drew it through all their points. This will be on, under, slightly under, on, over. Now, if that under, over chant sounds like the points are jumping back and forth across the line, that's also a piece of evidence that your graph is actually linear and that you can write a y equals mx plus b equation for it, okay? Um, I would say that probably the under over chant for this board and this board indicates that it might be slightly curved, but we only have five down So it's up for debate, all right? It should be linear, okay? So that's what all, they all have in common. They're all linear. They show a linear relationship between force and stretch. That's what it means. There's a linear relationship between force and stretch. So we can write a y equals mx plus b equation that includes force and stretch. What does the y intercept tell us about the spring? Oh. Do you? Um, where it is like at rest like the measurement of, or like the length of how long the spring is stretched, like when it's at rest, which would be zero. Okay, I think by at rest, you mean when I'm not pulling on it. Yeah. So if I don't stretch it at all, how much force does it exert? Zero. No. Zero stretch, zero force. This is a group that I think recorded the they didn't include zero zero in their data. Okay? Now, I'm suspicious though, blue group, did you actually stretch it 15 centimeters? Or is that the length of the spring? The whole length of the spring? No, we stretched it. You stretched it 15? The resting one was nine centimeters. Okay. So what I'm asking is, did you stretch it from nine to 15? Or did you stretch it oh. from 9 to 15 more than that, 24? We stretched it from 9 to 15. Okay. So in that case, you actually only stretched it and 14 centimeters. That's the oh. amount of stretch. Oh, okay. Okay, so that makes sense yeah. now that you're seeing your own numbers up there. Okay. This group added in their column. Um, this group when it was not, that you have a linear graph that should pass through zero, zero. And if you look at your mathematical models, the y-intercept should be very close to zero. It might what? not be exactly zero, but it should be very close to it. If you plotted the length of the spring instead of how much you stretched it, that's going to throw that y -intercept. Here is where we're going to jump in and take some notes. All right? So pull out your a recording class. <laughs> over to the back. Please don't be offended if I move your board to the bottom. So I'm just making some space like, make to write. What did you say? Okay. Make some comments like Garrett in case you want to do that. No. I'm going to roast I think that will be enough space. Okay, so here's what you're putting on the back of your paper, and I'm going to lower this because it's annoying. I wouldn't be sitting this time. You would use this as both. Well. You would like, cut out. So on the back, these are our phone. I can't cut out anything. Okay, so I want you to start by sketching a just shows what these. Um, what our data all had in common. Okay, so force in centimeters like a blog one day. on the x-axis. And you told me they all were linear and went through zero, zero. Okay, so the fact that they are linear Right behind one of the fours, there's the big one and the little one. Tells us that force 
exerted uh -oh. both on a stretch. Do you want us to fill in the blank? I want you to tell me what you fill in that blank. What goes in that blank? Force exerted on and by the spring is blank to the amount of stretch. When a graph is linear and goes through zero, zero, that means the quantities plotted on that graph are, Darius? Equal? Not equal. But something that you all often interpret to be close to equal. Bow. James? Connected or uh, related? Related how? It's a word that describes how they are related. Are they balanced? Okay, let's look at some data. Okay. <sighs> what also happened to the amount of force exerted by the spring? It, huh? It, it tripled. It, it was close to, excuse me, close to tripling as well, right? <laughs> Does the same thing happen here? When they triple yeah. the amount of stretch? Did it triple the amount of force approximately? Ish? Give or take. Give or take? It would be a better way. You said what? That would be a better way to measure that amount of I'd be stretch. Going to. Because by holding the ruler up next to it, you probably weren't getting real accurate. <laughs> you okay there, Miss Gary? Oh, okay. I heard it. So maybe the force is under. Okay, so. Um, Tripling one quantity triples the course. Proportionate? Quantity. They're proportional. That's the word that goes in. Look at me. <laughs> I'm fire, bro. I'm, I'm that guy. Can we cover my <laughs> Exactly. I'm that guy. I'm about to show this to okay. my mom. So proportional means they change by the same factor. <laughs> that guy. Whatever I want. Now, again, my evidence here is that the graphs are all it's linear and go through your hater what does n stand for caleb and cameron newtons. newtons and forces measured but everybody has f equals some slope i'm just going to leave that blank right now what's plotted on the horizontal axis which is the amount of stretch, okay? And I know I have preached and preached about R -E using a descriptive variable, but it turns out that the variable for the amount of stretch is in fact X. No, M-R-E-A-K. So I'm gonna say some slope yes. times X. Now, no. notice that the black yeah, group. A freak. No, that's not the one. This, <laughs> the orange group. They have. Okay, I'm gonna make one and the units that go with the number. Okay, so this slope is measured in newtons. We're turning this in. And my next question. <laughs> Per centimeter. For the orange group, it was 0 0.06 um, newtons per centimeter. 
For the black group, it was 0 0.06 newtons per different slopes. James? Um, because not all springs are the exact same. Because not all springs are the exact same. I agree. What's Wait, what are you doing? Like the quality of the material, the, the length, and I see the number it. of lines. Cool. Okay, the material they're made from, the, the way the coils are constructed. I have two different springs up here. Spring. Okay, so hanger. One gram. Oh. 100 gram mass. James? One needs to stretch more to exert the exact same amount of force. Okay, one needs to stretch more to hold up the one tight and loose. Which one would feel loose and which one would feel tight? Tall. You're right. Yeah. This one's really loose. It's very easy to pull. This one is very tight. Take as much force to stretch it by the same amount. So this slope, to rewrite this equation as F equals KX. Really? And this equation is what we call Hooke's oh, no. Law. That's why this is called the Hooke's Law Lab, because we discover X and the amount of force are proportional to each other. Okay? I'm going to stop there. Problem 3 and problem 4, spring A only. You'll understand when you get it. Let's see what I'm talking about. Just skip all the way to problem three. Make sure you put your student Brilliant. number in the upper right hand corner. Duh. <laughs> Hang on to your last number two. Okay. They just came around and Yeah. I wouldn't say it's pretty. It's prettier. You see this? That's better. I know <laughs> that this one was like, let's see better. where I added some handwritten, added some handwritten things in. I'm upset though, you took off my deal. But I thought the springs weren't write. labeled. So I labeled them A and B, and then I noticed that they really were labeled one and two. But it's okay. So go down to the bottom part of the page. You have a force versus stretch graph. You're going to determine the slope. Erase it. And you're going to figure out how much force it takes to stretch the spring to give it a Don't amount for the spring A only. Where am I? Where are all the kids? She already think it's No, she don't. I hope she don't. Oh my god. The ink is just dead. I hate erasing. <laughs> Here, you write it then. No, you can write it. No, the ink's dead. It's just dead. It's the fifth one. Is that what we're doing? So wait, you said we're doing the one at the bottom? Yeah, number three and number four for spring A um. Three and four for spring A. Okay.
2024 news.